Okay, I wanted to show you a little bit about how the quadratic is going to be a little different than the line. So for the quadratic, again, we've got a graph. See the equation over here. We can click on the graph to make sure it's selected. So when it's red, it's selected. And then we can move. We can adjust the shape of the parabola. And I believe you can pick like specific points it would go through and then it will snap to those points. So you can do that. You can move the parabola up. And notice what it does to the equation as we move it up a few units what it does to the equation, or down, we can move it left or right. And again, notice what that does to the equation. So we're going to need the equation in this form. And part of our time will be getting in the equation in the appropriate form so that this tool actually helps us. Because we can read off how much have we translated it up or down, how much have we translated it left or right, and this a little bit of the scaling factor with that. And we can put it through specific points. So we can even shift it down going through specific points, and it will snap and go through that point and give you the exact equation. So I hope this helps you realize a little bit what the, the graphing widget can do now applied to quadratic functions.